Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna go with fence. There's a tractor and everything. whippity do. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alright, everybody's going their separate ways. What's up, guys? It's Dunbar Snack Bar here with the next uh, part of episode one of The Walking Dead. So I'm going to talk to these guys. Find out what's up. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. I don't know if a boat would be the best idea, you know, but then again, I can see... The benefits of it. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. 
I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. So she's probably going to be like our doctor. She's a veterinarian. Because that would be too obvious if it's like, oh, I'm doctor. I heal people. Got to keep her safe then. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Sometimes, it's kill. Be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. This has actually been really, really helpful, being able to get to know everybody. How you doing, Duck? Good. Drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's kind of cool because, like, maybe my son will do that. Anyway, let's talk to this guy here, see what's up. He's not happy. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the? Go! I'll get my gun! What is going on? Uh, 
Oh, he's pinned. Oh, now he's got the kid, too. Uh-oh. Oh, I got to make a choice. Um, I'm going to go with Sean. He's going to be more help. Plus, where's the dad? Duck's dad needs to be over here. So oh, there he is. Okay. I got you. Kenny, help please. Kenny! He just ran off? I'm trying to save this guy. And he just runs off. Set the kid down and help push. Oh no. Sean, no! Gross. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. What? Why do you have to die? <sighs> Not cool. Not cool, Kenny. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out, and never come back. Yeah, give him that look. I'm not happy about that at all. You've got that ride to Macon if you want it. I better have that ride to Macon! Jeez. Wow, I was not expecting that to happen. I think I might have made the wrong choice because I tried to go with him and he still died. So maybe I should have gone with Duck instead. But that's what's cool about this game. You can make the choices. And now the truck's dead. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. And it's getting dark outside. This is not good. Little foreshadowing. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. That's why you don't just yell. In the middle of the zombie apocalypse, you not yell at random people. We're oh, now Doug's gonna get eaten? Maybe not. Who is she? Run. She's got a gun, though. I'm happy about that. That's good. All right, we're all going to get inside. Ooh, I think we're going to be all right. We're going to be cool. But I'm going to leave it right there. All right, so you guys are going to have to check back here soon when I have the next part of this episode. So I do appreciate you guys watching. More, of course, to come, like I said. So subscribe if you haven't already. You guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. Just make sure you go ahead and check that description below. So thank you again, you guys, for watching. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.